John the Mouse. Passengers of the Steamboat Bertrand, Fanny and Annie Campbell. This video is on the Annie and Fanny Atchison that was riding on the Bertrand when it sunk. Let's start out with a little background history before the accident. Annie Campbell was born Galena, Illinois March 18, 1844 and two years after. Fanny Campbell was born Galena, Illinois November. 4, 1846. Sometime after that they moved to Chicago and lived there until 1855 when Major James Campbell moved his family from Chicago to St. Louis. The girls were put into a Catholic boarding school. In 1862 part of the family left for the Montana Territory. Fanny and Annie were left to finish school. After the girls finished school in 1865, they headed to Montana to meet up with their parents and other siblings. The steamboat Bertrand was bound for Fort Benton, Montana Territory, carrying cargo and passengers. Many of those passengers were headed up the Missouri River to start a new chapter in their lives. The Campbell girls were traveling to reunite with their parents who established a general store in the territory three years earlier. Annie was 20 years old and her sister Fanny was 18 years when they got on the steamboat Bertrand. Let's start going over what they left behind. Perhaps the best known Campbell family artifact is Fanny's slate. It is a simple school chalkboard made of thin plate steel and is covered on both sides with a black lacquer. Carved lightly in the top of the wood frame is the name Fanny. The coat is a highly decorated example for the 1800s, indicating the Campbell family had above average means. It is a black silk overcoat with a semi-fitted bodice and a widely flaring skirt. Two gilt brass hat pins, perhaps one for each sister. These hat pins, one being round and the other more oval shaped, were one of the finer things found on the steamboat Bertrand. This tiny glass heart is a yellowish-green transparent heart with beveled edges and a frosted appearance. Look closely at the heart, it is also engraved with yours slash truly on it, indicating it was most likely given by a loved one. This delicate glove is a black silk crocheted mitt with diamond-shaped mesh featuring four designs. This style mitt was commonly worn to semi-formal events. A year after Fanny arrived in Gallatin City her father had her piano shipped up the Missouri River to Fort Benton. A steck and son of New York. The land transportation was done by Diamond R Transportation Co. Fanny became a school teacher in 1867. She remained single for most of her life but married former teacher and rancher Eliza Thornburg, born July 28, 1843, on October 30, 1910. Annie married Frank Dunbar at Tobacco Root Mountain Cattleman on February 27, 1867. Born April 24, 1837, they had five children together, Florence, Mary, Herbert, Frank, and Homer. 1869 Fanny Campbell was certified to teach a common school. In January 1872 a free school opened under her supervision, the Gallatin Avant Courier for March 11, 1872. How about their siblings? Gordon Campbell became a successful trader and mercantile businessman in Gallatin, Montana. Helen Campbell married Montana State Senator Judge James Gallagher. After Major James Blackstone Campbell passed away. Chicago Tribune said Major Campbell offered some land for sale in England calculated at $20 million in the past. Their mom Sarah Kane Campbell tried to claim dower rights of 10 acres and 400 lots in Chicago. But she didn't have any luck getting it. Montana became the 41st state on November. 8, 1889. Annie Campbell. Passed away 1912. Fanny Campbell. Passed away June 24, 1919. Thank you for watching my video. I do have more for you to view, just press on the button, and if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.